Hey Booktube, how's it going? Um, there is a good possibility that it is too windy to do this video. Um, we've been wanting wind all day and it just hasn't come. And um, now that it's starting to like cool off a little, it seems that there's a lot of wind. So, and in fact, my my gore book fell in the pool due to the wind. But I think it's drying out nicely in this 100 degree heat. So, um, that might, might actually be okay. <clears throat> but I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I've been doing, what I've been feeling, what I've been reading. Um... And the big how I'm feeling talk um, will happen at the end of this video. Um, there's just a bunch of pluggy stuff that I want to do here first while Fred's trying to find a chair to sit on that isn't scary with the wind. So on um, the zine front... Um, Oh yeah, these are all going to shake. Um, Weird Mass 19 is out now. Um, for those of you who um, subscribe on Patreon, um, I sent out the... Uh, what would it be? I guess the May package today. And I'll be sending the June package out um, tomorrow. So, um, apologies on those being late. Um, but yeah, so we're Mass 19, um, and it's our year anniversary, and just look at all those zines we put out this year. It's, it's pretty exciting. So, um, this has probably more stories in it than normal, um, there's 12 stories and serials all together, including Steve Donahue's Red Bishop, um, Brit the Change, B.L. Kohler's um, Rumors from the Attic, and the finale of my serial Fagman is in here, and um, I didn't want it to end how it's ending in here. But I also don't want to, like, draw it out to where it's like, I'm kind of finished with it, kind of not. Months go by, you don't hear anything. So, um, <clears throat> I ended it into a, I gave it a type of conclusion. That if I wanted to go back later and play with it, I could. So that's cool. So that's out now. Um, and since it's been a while since I've done a video like this, we have um, two um, issues of Time Mazine out, uh, six and seven, um, which is continually going through Frankenstein, um, going through H.P. Lovecraft stories in... Um, order of when he writ wrote them, when he written them. Um, and then the Robert E. Howard Conan stories as close to what I think the chronology of those stories should be. Um, and then in this one, we got a story from Clark Ashton Smith, which is pretty cool. And in this one, um, Jim Thies... I don't know how you say it, but the um, Eye of Aragon, um, which is one of those stories that are written so poorly they're good kind of thing. Um, so, though, and these are a dollar. Um, I'm almost done with all this stuff. For those of you who were taking part in the Weird Mass 3K, um, or at least following along with it, 
this um, is the collected works that were turned in to me um, for the 3K. So, um, Peter Clark, uh, me, Britt, um, Aaron Dillman, um, the bibliotherapist, um, and then another book to a person who I don't know if they want me to say who they are and um, just some other great stories in here too so that is also up there and again all of this the links are going to be down below and then the next couple things is just me so for those of you who were um, keeping track um, Black Star Canyon the episodes I'm putting out in zine form so, um, season one, episode two, season one, episode three, um, <clears throat> these are now available on Etsy as well. And if you'd rather just read them in novel form and not have to wait a month in between episodes, um, you can just find Black Star Canyon on Amazon. There's five, um, novels in there that take, um, the 25 episodic serial parts. Hang on. Fred, come here. Yeah, he's naughty. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you here is, um, who's that charming looking chap? Um, so this is, if you recall, um, a couple months ago, I started putting out um, people's work who have been collected in Weird Mask, who um, like Peter Clark and Dale Kohler. Um, people who've submitted a lot um, to justify me putting out a zine of just their stuff. So um, here is my first one. And this um, takes the stories I wrote under my name and pen names in um, these issues here. So that's issues one through four and then eight, nine, and ten. Um, I had stuff in every issue, but the serials that I had um, in 2018 in Mask, I decided to not put those in because they've been released um, elsewhere. So um, I just thought I would take the actual stories and put those out. So again, um, the Etsy shop, I believe, is under Matt Wall Wright's. Um, but if you just type in Weird Mask into Etsy, um, you can find those. I will try to remember to put a link down below. <clears throat> now, um, for what um, we've been doing and what I've been reading and stuff, um, I have been reading Tarns Minagore um, very sparsely. Like, I'll read a chapter and put it down and then not pick it up again for like a week and then pick it up and read a chapter and that's been really um hard to get into because that's how i'm reading it um then i'm listening to the audiobook of fritz Leiber's um swords of lankmar which um as i'm listening to it i'm really enjoying it um but with that being said um the last two Fritz Leiber, Fawford and Gray Mauser books, both of those started off really great. Um, and then I felt like the last story in each of them were really lackluster. So I have this like horrible feeling that the book's going to get bad. But um, I've heard good things about um, this book and the next two. So... Um, Hopefully that won't be an issue. And hopefully you can hear me. I'm really worried about this sound thing. Because the thing I'm going to talk about right now um, is kind of important. But before I do that, if you guys are wondering um, how Zoe's reading is doing with that giant TBR cart, she's killing it. She's been reading so much stuff. I just want to get her on here just so she could talk to you about all the stuff she's reading. She just finished Perfect Days by someone, I can't remember who, um, and she was listening to some audiobook about dinosaurs, and I was making fun of her the whole time, just to get a rise out of her, not because I wasn't interested in it, it actually sounded really good, 
but she's been absolutely killing it. So, um, she's been reading so much more than me. So hopefully I could get her on here to talk about that soon. But, um, I feel like us moving and, um, some things that happened on booktube all kind of coincided around the perfect time because if i would have been like on booktube like daily like i was when that stuff went down um i don't know what i would <clears throat> what i would be like and I don't want to beat a dead horse, and a lot of this stuff has been talked about already, so I'm not going to, like, say what it is. Um, for those of you who know what's been going on in BookTube the last couple months, um, you already know. So, <clears throat> it's kind of um, silly to dredge that up. But, um, I guess it was just hard for me because... A lot of the things that were brought up seem to be brought up for the benefit of the community, but I feel like how everybody handled themselves in this situation was the most... Okay. Was the like, just, like, the worst way it could have been handled, and, um, it just made me really not want to be a part of this for the time being, or for a time, um, and it really, like, I don't want to say it pissed me off, but it just, like, I guess hurt, you know, like, they're, there's so much stuff about BookTube that I love, and also so much stuff about BookTube that makes me want to do ramp videos, and I don't want to do ramp videos, you know, I just, I want to just be me, you know, um, so basically, I was very upset and I was ranting to Zoe. Zoe was my new camera. And I would just rant to her. And she would just like roll her eyes at me. Um, but it's just like since I've kind of been away from BookTube since we moved, I really miss a lot of you. Um, there's a lot of you that I was spending every day with like whether you knew it or not like I was watching your videos every day and um Zoe was too and we were enjoying our time we were spending with you and um since this whole thing went down I kind of stopped watching booktube videos because I kept getting like I would watch a video and then I would think the video would be about one thing and then opinions would show up about the thing that I don't want to talk about. And, um, there were a lot of blanket statements and I, I don't want to like keep beating this drum, but like blanket statements are very dangerous. Um, there was a lot of generalization going on, um, a situation that was, <clears throat> I guess, originally about individuals turned into a conversation about BookTube as a whole, and the generalizations and the blanket statements, um, it just really made me feel like, A, I didn't want to be a part of this, and B, if I did want to be a part of this, would people want me to be a part of this? <clears throat> um, 
because it just seems like, um, I don't know. I, I, it's so hard to talk about without talking about it, but basically there were a lot of people that I value a great deal who were involved in this and made it really hard for me to kind of stand by them. <clears throat> and then there were people who I've never cared for who I was feeling like I had to, on principle, stand by them. And then at the end of the day, I'm like, why do I have to stand by anybody? Like, I seriously don't want anything to do with this. I came to BookTube so I could talk about the nerdy shit I like, you know? Like, I didn't come to BookTube to, like, fit in, I guess. Um, I guess you could tell that by the stuff I read for the most part, but I didn't come to BookTube to um, be in the cool kids club, you know? Like, I just wanted to talk to people who were, re was reading the same stuff I was, you know? Um, and that's been few and far between, but, um, there have been a lot of people who I've met on here who have said things along the lines of, like, I would probably never read any of the books that you read, but you and Zoe are so much fun. Um, I love watching you guys. And that is is such a huge, huge, like, compliment, because, um, we're just being us, you know, like, um, I don't know, but, like, again, one of the things that I've always said is that, like, I want, do you want to come be on camera? No, you, you don't want to show everyone your hot bikini? No. All right. Um, it's been like over a hundred degrees, so um, I'm sporting this awesome little banana hammock, very very little, and Zoe's walking around in a bikini. So fun times. But anyway, um, I feel like I'm rambling at this point. Um, I just I miss. A lot of people that um, we used to watch a lot of and I miss a lot of people that we used to talk to a lot in comments and stuff and um, so I don't know um, let me know down below what you think of all this um, if I'm kind of overreacting I feel like I had to just take a step back because overreacting like, the reaction you're getting right now is so mundane. The overreacting I was doing a month ago was, like, ridiculous. But um, I just love you guys. And, like, even the people who um, I was, like, tripped out about through this whole thing. <clears throat> I miss you guys. So, um... Hopefully, um, I'll be making more BookTube videos, and hopefully me and Zoe will be able to um, spend more time watching your guys' BookTube videos. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I will remember to put links down below um, for the zines and everything. And if you pick up any of these, let me know. I'd love to um, know what you're getting. I don't know, see if I could put um, any extra little bits in there. So, um, yeah. Um, I will talk to you guys soon.